Hello, this is Joe from MBS Australia. This is a quick video showing how to organize and move content from and to your projects and masters. Uh, the masters folder particularly is very useful for storing some trusted company content where you can put any previous projects or previous systems that you may want to use in the future and be able to bring them down into projects as necessary. So this example, there's um, a board suspended ceiling system I want to use in this project. It's in the architectural specification. So for example, it would be this one, the top one, CL02, that I know worked particularly, particularly well in the last project, and that's what I want to copy up into my masters for future use. So once I click into that and see the actual content, you can see this one is perhaps a, a well-written and a trusted system that I've already done. It won't all need to be filled in. There might be some parts that I'm leaving to, to contractor's choice, but for the bits I want to protect, this is all filled in as I want it to be. And for example, I clicked one of the clauses there, and that's some some information for a previous project that I want to want to put up into my masters and have ready to go on other projects. So it's stored in the architectural uh, specification folder here. What I need to do is ensure there is a destination in which to move it to. So in my masters folder here, there's as you can see other examples like interior walls or exterior walls as well, or entire projects you can save up here. In the board suspended ceiling systems is where I want to put it, and there's an interiors folder already set up here and the actual system I've already got in here separately is from a different project. As you can see here, I've used the prefix and suffix, which can be a handy way of identifying, um, as I said, some of this trusted content from previous projects that you might want to copy up into your masters. So this one will be slightly different because it's the CL02. So from my projects, all I need to do is go to find that particular system that I want to copy up into my master. And as with many of the functions on Chorus, you just use the tick box on the left hand side here. That's the one I want. I could tick many more if I wanted to move them all up. But this, in this instance, I just want the uh, suspended ceiling system. Use the actions button, copy to, and then select my masters. That will give me the option of where to put it. And of course, I want it in the board suspended ceiling system folder. And then I just need to select the actual specification that it was going to go into. So it's the interiors. Paste that now and copy the clause. And there'll be a little link there at the bottom I can click onto straight away, and that will take me into my master's folder. So as you can see, I've got my two different options there, and that's my trusted content that I can rely on at any point to bring down into projects. So in the very same way, uh, to move any content from your masters down into your projects, in, in the same situation there, you can pick any of the uh, content that might be in your, in your masters. It will be listed out as you want. So some of this content I know I want to move into a project, or it might be the entire lot. I can take the whole, the whole set here. The, I can see there's 10, 10 systems up here. I'll decide copy two, and I want to put it back into that project I was just in, in which case I can choose from my projects all the way down here anything that I want to, to move that into. So I find the school project that I was just working on. And it's just down the bottom there can go into the next step and say I want to paste it into the landscape specification and that all goes into that particular project ready to be used. So particularly useful um, to have your project set up as, as usual as they would be and the masters is your protected content and you can move, move them around between the two places.